Mm. S'mores are a great campfire tradition, personally my favorite, and we're gonna show you how to make your own at home. First, get all your ingredients together. You'll need graham crackers, marshmallows, and your favorite chocolate. Step one, place the graham crackers on a baking tray. Step two, place a piece of chocolate on top of each cracker. Step three, then carefully place a marshmallow on top of the chocolate. Step four. Put the tray under a preheated broiler. This step could be a little tricky, so you better ask a grown-up to help. Watch out, the oven will be hot. Leave them under the broiler until the marshmallows have browned and are melting. Step five. Top each s'more with another graham cracker and enjoy. There you go. Perfect. Ooh. Here are a few alternative versions of this campfire classic. You can even add a few slices of your favorite fruit. That looks delicious. Now don't eat too many, okay? You're gonna get a sugar rush. When you go horseback riding on the frontier, it's important to bring water and snacks with you. Luckily, the perfect snack for adventuring already exists. It's called trail mix. What goes into making trail mix? First thing I need to add is chocolate bits. You can use chips, candies, or fancy shapes. Ooh, yes, okay. Well, of course, you gotta put in some nuts too, like peanuts or walnuts. Or if you don't like nuts, that's okay, because you can just add some pretzels. Yum. Lastly, no mix is complete without some kind of dried fruit, like raisins, cranberries, mangoes. Boom, the perfect snack. But wait, what about our horses? They should get a snack too. You hungry, bud? What exactly would Chica Linda like? Oh, oats for sure. And maybe some raisins. Add some pumpkin seeds and some flower seeds. Of course, you must throw in some apple slices. There you go. I've got you covered, buddy. Don't you worry. Hmm. <laughs> you know what, that actually looks kind of good. Hey, friends. If you love singing, like I do, there's no better instrument to sing along with than a ukulele. Now the beats have someone you can trust to the <laughs> Let's make our own so we can practice. Just follow along. Let's do this. First, you need a few supplies. A thin box, string, a cardboard tube, safety scissors, glue, four bolts with nuts, crayons or markers, and anything else you want to use to decorate. Draw a circle in the center front of the box. Have an adult help you cut it out. This is where the sound comes out when it's played. At the top of the box, cut a line down the center of each flap, then fold them down like this. Next, take your paper tube, glue it on the inside of the opening in the tabs you just made. Then, secure those tabs down with glue. Draw lines across the tube to create your frets. Poke four holes below the center circle in the front of the box, and four holes in the top of the tube, two on either side of the fretboard, like this. Wind a screw through each hole in your fretboard and secure on the inside with a nut. These are your tuners. Next, you need something like string, dental floss, or thread. They all create a different sound. Try finding one you like. Knot one end of your string, run it through the body of the ukulele, and up to the frets. Securely tie it to one of the bolts on the outside of the tube. Repeat this with the other three holes and string. You can rotate these to tighten or loosen your string and change the sound. At the bottom of the circle, add a rectangular piece of paper under the strings for the saddle. Now, decorate. 
This is the best part. Add designs, glitter, stickers, whatever you want. See, that's it. Now, when you and your pals are singing songs by the campfire, you'll have your very own ukulele to play along. Do things together, join up. Join up.